What's up, nerds and nerdettes, and we little nerdlings all? <laughs> it's your buddy, Big Johnny G for two. Gun Pixie presents Legendary Gaming. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Checking out this episode of Tabletop Takeout Tuesday. Wow, this is a retro episode, I gotta say, because it concerns a game that is from my childhood that I absolutely adored, and I'm still willing to play to this very day. So that says, that says a hell of a lot. Well, we do a video every day of the week, so come on by and check us out. We have different videos during the week. We have live playthroughs on Friday and Saturday. Most of the time it's live. <laughs> So yeah, if you like board games, if you like just listening to someone talk, if you like unboxings, if you like live playthroughs, if you like anything at all like that, come on, give us a subscribe and check us out. Every day we have a video. <laughs> and it's all for fun. It's all for fun. Like gaming should be, right? So why don't you join me down the table, and I'll tell you what it is that I have loved and still love about Dungeon Dice. Oh yes, I have enjoyed this this family friendly light take that style card game, dice game, board game since I've been a kid. So the, the core concept of this is you're a prisoner in a dungeon cell and you're trying to dig your way out. That's it. You get to play other cards on the other players like a take that style game and you're basically trying to avoid the guards and you do this all through matching rolls that you need in the dice. Simple, easy. Kids can get it, parents can get it, and I did. I had a lot of fun with my mom playing this game. It's one of the few fantasy-style games that, that, that she would get into with me. So, obviously, I have a lot of fun memories because of that. The thing that I think stayed with me the most with this game is the, the inlay, the center of the board, not the box that carries it all. I mean, the center of the board has a dice tray. And it's set up thematically to look and be part of th this castle image that the game is going for. And it looks great, and it's functional, and uh, it serves its purpose really well. It does its job, and it's nice and handy, and probably the first time in my life I had ever encountered something like a dice tray. And that image has stayed with me all these years. That and the dice, the very light wooden dice that this game had. You barely felt them in your hand like popcorn. <laughs> Now everything, not just the dice tray in the center of the board, but the entire design was thematically fun. It wasn't a gritty, dark uh, style of art. It was a fun, family, kitty style of art. But it worked well, it did its job, and I, I think that thematically it works great. The inlay with a, with a dice are rolled, uh, have, have like a, a stone work in them. So, I mean, again, everything in this game that you're looking at, that you're rolling, the cards that you're playing, the table, that you, uh, the, 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 the board that, the, that it's on sitting on the table, it all works together to visually bring you into this, <laughs> into this fun little dungeon world. Now, I got to say, because this bothers some, some people, some individuals don't like what I'm about to say in a board game, but the truth of the matter is, this is a very heavy luck involved game between uh, luck of rolling the dice, the luck of drawing the cards. If you're not into luck based games, this is going to be a little d difficult for you to get into. But it is a really fun game. If you can get beyond that, past that, and just appreciate the game for what it is, you're going to have a lot of fun with it. Oh, I mean, this game is all about really replayability because there's nothing to really do the same way twice. The odds that you're going to keep getting the same cards to do the same thing over and over again from one game to the other in that particular order, that's not going to happen. So there is a level of replayability in this, even though it is a very luck-based game. That kind of ties it together with itself. Kind of makes the luck base a little bit more bearable, I think. I would really like to see a modern update to this. Not just a reissue. Like, a reissue would be fine. That'd be nice. I could deal with that. But I'd really like to see a reimagining 
of this. I mean, still keeping it a family-friendly, rules-light kind of game, but where else can they go? What else can they do to, to broaden this a little bit? It was a hard four-player game. I say hard, I mean, there's no way you could have more because of the way the board was set up. One player literally on each of the four sides of the board. Uh, maybe turn it into a, a five-walled dungeon with a fifth-player option. Update the cards, the dice, and everything. And I don't know, but I would really, I'd really like to see this out on the market again. <sighs> but I've had so much fun with this game over the years, and I want to keep having more fun with it. That's why I want to see it reissued, I guess. <laughs> and I want more people to experience it. If you're looking for a, a light, take that family fun, rules light game that you can get to the table in a moment, has like no setup time, really, uh, and, and, and start playing right away, this might be the game you're looking for. Don't take my word for it. Go try to find it online, maybe see some playthroughs of it, uh, and check it out yourself. Make, make your own decision. Get informed and make your own decision. I'm just planting some seeds here. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> well, I, I, I hope you do check this out and I hope you enjoy it and find it fun. If you know of any retro games from your youth that you wish that they would reissue or just redo completely, put it in the comments and let us all know. <laughs> I'm your buddy Big John and G, the two gun pixel presents Legendary Gaming and I am out of here. <laughs>